Hey YouTube, it's Mercury Mark, back here for another video. Got some silver to share, really, really excited. Um, we Last weekend, we had a coin show in town. And uh, I, as you can see, I have some wonderful, wonderful pickups that I was able to um, secure. And I thought they were very reasonable prices, too. And especially, I kind of waited to the second uh, day as things were kind of winding down. And uh, I was able to find that some of the dealers were uh, willing to negotiate a little bit more on that last day, you know, as they're kind of nearing the end and uh, the crowd became a little bit more sparse um, from that side. So kind of wanted to uh, share some of it with you here. As you can see up in the back here, I have some Mercury Dimes that I was able to pick up, um, hence my name. I, uh, I do collect Mercury Dimes and uh, was looking for some uh, higher quality dates um, that I have. And I was able to pick up uh, 12 uh, new Mercury Dimes for my collection. As you can see here, I'll see if I can scroll over and we can get some a little bit better zoom for you guys in some of these. So, But they were great, great pickups. And uh, I was really excited. There was quite a few other collectors that had these, especially ones that were a little bit higher quality um, than the, uh, I guess, so-called junk ones, the ones that you'll find in tubes that are pretty worn down um, and uh, can barely read or see even the face that's on them here as well. Moving on, uh, a couple other pickups that I have here, as you can see in the air tights, um, I was able to pick up four uh, Australian kookaburra coins. And uh, this is the oldest one. There was a 1999, oh, sorry, a 1991 that I was able to find. I thought it was really reasonable, and uh, it didn't have a price on it. So I asked one of the dealers what it was priced at, and uh, they said they were willing to let it go for $27. I think it's a really, really good deal. Um, I thought I'd kind of chat with you guys to see what the true value of this is. I think I would really need to look it up. I haven't had an opportunity to go online yet and see, but I'm pretty sure that this is worth a lot more than that and I think they just uh, kind of threw a number out because it wasn't priced at the time there at the coin show. So really excited about that pickup here as well. Going on I picked up three more. These are more recent dates. Uh, up next I have here a 2003 Kookaburra here as well and then I have a 2004 that was a pickup. Sorry about the lighting, a lot of reflection here. And then I also have a 2005 Kookaburra that I was able to pick up here as well. Let's see if we can wait for a little bit of focus there. Just a minute here. Uh, camera's being a little finicky here. Let's see if we can zoom out and get a little bit more. There we go. A little bit more of a focus there. Hopefully you guys are able to see that. So some great, great pickups um, in that regards. Um, so I'm really excited about these. I'm not sure if I'm really uh, into uh, collecting these. Um, they're definitely the first four Kubaros that I've picked up. So I might try to flip these and maybe put them on the market. So uh, look for a video down the line. I might uh, have to ponder that for a little bit longer. Down below here, I had two more 2015 pickups. I have a 2015 Canadian Maple Leaf. Um, this is one of my first ones that I've picked up, so I thought uh, was, prices were very reasonable, I felt, for the coin show. So I thought I'd pick one up and just kind of uh, see if I really liked them here as well. The other one, 2015, was a Philharmonic. Again, this is one of my first one of these. A uh, little, little bit of smudge on the airtight there as well. Good thing that they're inside the case. But uh, really excited about these, actually. Kind of like the design and uh, kind of trying to ponder if uh, I might pick up more of these here as we get into 2015. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are on those as well if you're going to be picking any more up in that regards. The last three items I have here, I was able to pick up three 1984 Libertads. Or Anzas, uh, I'm not sure the exact names, especially these are the older ones. Hopefully we can get some focus here. Um, come on, there we go, camera. Ah, there we go. So, really excited about those, but I was able to pick up four of them. It was the last four the gentlemen have, and uh, very reasonable price on them. I was able to get these for uh, $20 a piece when I bought all three of them. So I felt it was a pretty reasonable price, but uh, I don't know. I'm a big Libertad fan, if those of you guys... Uh, that I haven't seen in some of my earlier videos as well. I've been collecting the uh, 2004s, some of the bullion ones, and then as well as the proof ones 
and uh, I should have some upcoming videos in the regards here as well. So, um, some great, great pickups here. I'm really, really excited, as I mentioned, and I uh, can't wait for the next coin show. Um, you know, be able to visit some of the, uh, the local uh, dealers that I know here and some new friendships that I've made um, that have the same uh, likeness in uh, stacking and collecting here. And obviously, last but not least, I do have another package here. And hopefully, Coin Keeper, that's out there. It's kind of a shout out for you. I saw a coin um, that was out there, and it's actually a little bit more closer to a medallion that I felt was right up your alley, and uh, the price is reasonable, so I picked it up. So if you're able to watch this video, uh, shoot me a personal message, and uh, hopefully I'm able to uh, ship this out to you. Um, I think it's something that you would really, really like, and uh, thought I'd share it with you. So it reminded me, and uh, I've learned a lot from your videos, so that I return the favor here as well. All right, folks, that's all I have. Uh, Till next time, see you guys later.